Why did God give us sacraments? A week or two ago in our ongoing Monday night Bible study that I've been calling the ABCs of theology, uh, which, by the way, we present on uh, Facebook Live, rc-lisa Sproul, Facebook Live, 7 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, uh, every Monday night. If anybody would like to tune in, they're welcome to do so. And we covered a few weeks ago uh, S's for sacrament, and I tried to answer this question, but I gave myself a whole hour <laughs> instead of just five minutes. So let me try to uh, today just give a, a shorthand explanation of why I believe God gave us sacraments. And the short answer is this. He gave us sacraments because we're whole people, not abstract people. That's W-H-O-L-E. We're whole people, not just abstract people. There's this wonderful... Uh, conversation in the wonderful book that is given to us from the wonderful writer that is C.S. Lewis. In his Screwtape Letters, a book of uh, letters written from a senior demon coaching a junior demon on how to uh, mislead his human project, uh, the senior demon says to the junior demon how, how maddening it is and how frustrating it is to all of the demons that we humans are what he calls Amphibious, A M P H I B O U S, amphibious. And what he meant by that is that we are not like demons and angels who have spirits but no bodies, though they can appear in the form of bodies. Uh, we're not like animals which have bodies but no souls, but we're both. We're bodies and souls, by the way, not bodies and. I'm sorry, not souls in bodies, but souls and bodies. And so while we communicate ideas through uh, language, which is an abstract form of communication, we take uh, ideas and we give them sounds and we send sounds to one another, even as I'm doing today on this podcast. Uh, nevertheless, we're not disembodied beings. I think it's the, um, maybe this is <laughs> really old. I don't know. I don't keep up with the kids, but once upon a time in the early days, anyway, of the internet, people who were so enamored with the internet used to refer to the rest of the world as the meat world, M E A T the meat world where, uh, you had to interact in a less abstract way where humans actually had bodies. Well, again, it's the same thing. The sacraments are given to us to be tangible, tasteable, smellable, seeable reminders of God's grace. Now, I am not denying at all that there's something uh, invisible going on. This is the, the I'm, I'm affirming, of course, the real presence of Christ in the, at the Lord's Supper. No question about it. But he is the one who commanded that we break bread and drink wine. And for the sacrament of baptism, he's the one who told us to baptize with water. I love that uh, the things that he's given us as these reminders are so foundational, so elemental. Uh, you know, it's not uh, some fancy uh, 27 ingredient uh, production. It's bread. It's not some concoction. It's wine. Uh, it's not some uh, heated and distilled and molded and shaped. It's just water. These foundational elemental things are the things that he's given us as those tangible reminders of his grace and those tangible ways by which his grace comes to us. They are a means of grace, a tangible means of grace. So why did God give us sacraments? Because we're human beings. And we do poorly when we take any gift that he's given us and we turn it into something rare, unusual, something set aside, something that's a time drain and an energy drain. Maybe one of these days we'll commit a whole five minutes to the question of how often we should celebrate the Lord's Supper. But the short answer is, as often as we can. 
we should give thanks for God's grace, including the grace of showing us his grace in his sacraments. Mm-hmm.